Hello, my name is Meliani Raymond and I work at the GBIF Secretariat and part of my work is to provide support to the capacity enhancement activities that are going on in our network. Um, today I've prepared a short presentation to explain to you uh, something about how the workshop that we are currently participating in contributes to a broader uh, approach to capacity enhancement that's running throughout our BID programme. Um, I've prepared some slides and I will switch over to presentation mode. Here we go. So as you are aware, um, BID is a multi-year program that's funded by the European Union um, and led by GBIF and it has the aim of increasing the amount of biodiversity information that's available both to science and to support scientific research and policy making in the Africa, Caribbean and Pacific regions. And um, running throughout all the activities in this program, we have a goal which is to enhance the capacity for effective mobilization and use of biodiversity information. And so our approach is to create what we're calling a strengthened community of practice um, that will support all the funded projects in meeting their objectives. So the idea with this community of practice is firstly to bring together all the BID grantees, all those people involved in implementing the BID projects, uh, to share their experiences and to help each other um, during the implementation of their projects, uh, sharing um, best practices and lessons learned along the way. Um, we've also invited other experienced members of the GBIF community to uh, volunteer to provide further support to this community, um, either as mentors or trainers. So uh, we will be using digital badges, which are similar to the ones that will be used to certify the skills that will be acquired through this workshop. Um, in order to recognise the contributions that are made by these, um, these members of the BID community. Uh, so that will include then the BID grantees, the BID mentors and the trainers. And I should also mention that these roles are not exclusive. Uh, we already have several BID grant holders that are also acting as mentors. Our approach is being based on uh, capacity self-assessments. So these are being used as a, as a tool to guide the design of our capacity enhancement activities, including this workshop. Um, they're also a tool to support project planning, and they can also help with the monitoring and evaluation of progress at the project level, because they've been done at the start and will be repeated again at the end of the projects. Um, so we've now received completed capacity self-assessment from all the projects and what we've seen uh, in analysing these is that they show that the, the funded projects all have a range of starting points um, in the 23, uh, sorry, 23 projects that have been funded under this first call for proposals in Africa. Um, so this really has reinforced that we need to allow support for exchange of experience between the projects. Um, and we need a kind of flexible approach to support capacity enhancement. So what tools are currently available to support this community of practice? Um, we have a dedicated section of the BID website, which is bid.gbif.org. And here you will find information uh, about how you can get further support for your um, implementation of your project. The main tool that we have at the moment is the BID community mailing list. Um, which we encourage you all to join and which is where you can already start asking questions to the other project teams and to the mentors and secretariat staff. There is also a, a series of documents and guidance materials that are available on this website uh, and we will be adding to that as we, as we go. So please take the time to check this information, join the mailing list and uh, we'll already start some discussions. So up until now, what I've been describing is really how uh, we will be engaging mentors to provide remote assistance um, to projects, uh, mostly over the mailing list, but we can also use other tools like uh, Skype or, or Google Hangouts. Um, and here on this slide, you see some examples of the kinds of support that volunteers men volunteer mentors can offer. Um, for example, support for data management and publishing, uh, checking, help to check the quality of uh, published data sets and providing feedback on plans, 
or, or um, draft reports. We are also working on developing the mechanism to support on-site mentoring visits. Uh, it's not yet in place, but we hope to be able to support this kind of thing soon. So the idea is that in situations where the remote assistance is not adequate to meet the capacity needs, um, we will be able to have a mechanism where a project team could apply jointly with a mentor to have a mentor come and visit um, and provide either hands-on training or, or help in um, attending national meetings and engaging with, with stakeholders and this kind of thing. Um, so as soon as we have more information about on-site mentoring visits, we will be sharing that through the BID community mailing list and encourage you to make good use of that opportunity. Uh, finally, I just want to share some information with you about how you can interact with mentors during this workshop. Um, we have a number of mentors that are following the workshop too and that are present in the online forums to help answer questions um, along with your trainers. So uh, this is an encouragement to make good use of that support and um, we have also prepared a series of posters, uh, one for each of your projects and these are available online on a web page um, and we would like to ask that as you go through the training um, you're encouraged to add comments to your poster page for example if you if you come across a project a topic during the training where you think that that's something that your project will need particular support with make a comment uh, on your poster page similarly if you if you feel that you still have unanswered questions about how one of the topics that's been covered would apply to your particular project's context then then make a note of that as well. Uh, the mentors will be checking this and, and providing feedback during the course of the workshop, but we will also provide a summary of all this um, at the end of the workshop. So um, I've now reached the end of my presentation. And uh, just in summary, I would like to encourage you to do the following. Please visit the BID website and learn about how to get further support for the implementation of your projects. Um, we talked about joining the BID community mailing list and you can already start sharing your questions and, and experiences there with other project teams and with mentors. Um, please go and find your poster um, and add comments to it as you go throughout the workshop. And finally, just to say that once you've completed this training, we will be inviting you to join the BID community as mentors because uh, you will then be able to share the experience that you've acquired through this training with others in the project teams. Thank you.